welcome and good morning or afternoon or evening, depending on when you're watching this. But right now it is morning. I am in the Page 3 Active Studio in Seychelles. And I would just like to start off by saying that creating YouTube content and creating content online is something that I have been doing on and off for such a long time now. And it brings me so much excitement and happiness and I can feel myself get passionate every time I think about creating more content and doing more stuff like this. So I am actively making sure that I make time to do more of this now. So if you're here with me today, then thank you so much for coming by. Um, today I'm going to give you a 20 minute all-rounder Pilates workout. So it's going to be quite good paced, a lot less resting stretches and have a of an hour long class. But I hope you enjoy it. This will be great for a morning to wake you up or something to fit into your lunch break or something along those lines. So I hope you enjoy. So we are going to start in on a very comfortable seated position. So get into a position which is most comfortable for you. It can be cross legged Your legs can be out in front. If the hips are a bit tight, if you struggle to sit in this position, grab a cushion or a yoga block or something that you have at hand and put it underneath your hips. And it allows the angle at the hip to just increase slightly, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. So if you need it, use it. If you don't, then don't. So starting in our comfortable seated position, wherever you have ended up, I want you to just close your eyes now and just arrive mentally into this practice. So just give the body a quick scan from head to toe, just to see how you feel today. And as you do this, I just want you to deepen your breath. Bring the focus inward, inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. And again, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Each time, deepening the breath further and further, breathing into your chest, into your sides, filling the lungs, trying to keep it away from memory breathing, but it's very popular in yoga because we're going to try and keep our core switched on. So just keep breathing and we'll get to the core in a few moments. Just allow the breath to completely fill the lungs, bring it in as far as you can. And out. Good, now on the next inhale, bring your focus down to your core. Place one hand on the belly button and the other hand over on top of that first hand. Now on your exhale, I want you to squeeze your belly button through to your spine. Imagine your ribs drawing down to your hips as you really squeeze all the way to 100%. Try and find that maximum switch on of the core. Grip it, it's not going to be comfortable, we're not going to be here for long. And then release halfway. And then tiny bit more, so holding roughly at a 30% on the core. You can sustain it, but it's not going to hurt after a while. Inhale, deep breath. Bringing that focus down to your pelvic floor. Again, if you want to place the hands there, feel free. And on the exhale, we just really grip and hold that pelvic floor. Again, trying to slowly bring it to that 100%. If you're struggling to find it, then the best way to describe it is when you really, really need to go to the toilet and you really have to hold it, and you really need to grip, that's your pelvic floor. So imagine you're in that scenario, find the pelvic floor and switch it on. All the way to 100% if you can. Easing it as much as you can and then release halfway. And again, that's a tiny bit more. So we're holding it 30% on the pelvic floor and the core. Breathing into our lungs, into our chest. Relax the hands now, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. I'm just going to mobilize through the body quickly and then we'll start on the exercise. So on your inhale, I want you to just relax your shoulders. Exhale, you're going to bring your chin to your chest. Lace the fingers. Gently place them on the back of the head, not to bring the head down so you're not pulling on the head. You're just adding a tiny bit of weight to allow that stretch to deepen slightly. And on the inhale, we'll just curve our back. Imagine pulling that belly button through to the spine again. Squeeze the elbows down towards the head. Exhale, open up the chest, squeeze the elbows backwards, looking up. Inhale down, curve the body. Exhale, open. 
either inhale it up or inhaling to rest the head to exhale back up. Find your lengthened L shape of the body and then exhale into your forward fold. Two more just like this. Keep that control, don't rush it. Again, pulling yourself up, chin to chest, lengthen the arms away. Overhead, lengthen the legs, lift out of the hips and down. One more. And lengthen, lift, and forward fold. Good, taking the hands behind you, letting the fingers face away for now, wherever they're comfortable. Feet are going to come to hip width apart with a bent knee. I'm going to go into a reverse tabletop position. So on the inhale, just get ready, shoulders down, chest lifted. Exhale, you're going to lift the hips to the sky, squeezing behind the bum into this reverse tabletop position. Your hands should be roughly beneath your shoulders, your feet beneath your knees. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Keeping the head in line with the shoulders as they move through the movement. Don't let the head drop and don't try to keep it up to the chest too much. Just let it naturally flow with the movement of the chest and the shoulders. Inhale, take it down. Exhale up. Two more. Good, now we're going to add a little bit of an arm bend, we'll work down our tricep. So, if you can, we're going to bend into the arm. Elbows go back, squeeze them up, and then we're going to push up into our reverse table top. Inhale down. Exhale bend. Inhale up. Exhale reverse table top. Some may find this easy enough to turn the fingertips towards the feet. You get a bit of a better bend in the arm as you do this, but you might get quite a harsh angle at the wrist. So it's completely up to you if you try it, or if you're more comfortable with the fingers facing out to the side or towards the back, then that is completely up to you. Everybody is different. Keep going. Exhale, down to the bend. Inhale, up, keep that chest lifted, shoulders down. Exhale, push behind the hips. One more. If this is enough, you can already feel this working, then you're going to stay at this level. But if you want to try the next level, we're going to take our legs out straight. Lengthen all the way through to the toes, so the legs are switched on and not just relaxed. Keeping the chest lifted, shoulders down. You're going to inhale, still to get ready. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, up. Exhale, push into the heels as you lift the hips off into reverse plank. Inhale, down. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, up. Keep going with the breath. Let your breath dictate how you want to move today. Try not to fit your breath into your movement. Fit your movement into your breath. Again, at any point, the next layer that I give gets too difficult, or you feel like it's starting to hurt, or something doesn't feel right, then please go down to the level that we started with. It will still work the same with similar muscles, and you'll still benefit from it. One more. Good, taking it down. Just bring the knees into the chest and have a little release stretch as you can pull the arms away from the back and like that, stretch across the shoulders. Behind the shoulder blades. Good, opening out. We're going to take ourselves to one more roll down. Just take ourselves down to the mat. Letting your head relax. We're going to realign ourselves. Shoulders down, ribs squeeze to the hips to lengthen. 
neck and our lower back and keep it nice and safe and supported against the floor. Feet hip width apart. Just going to go into a bit of a burning hand sequence. So bring the hands either side of the head. On the exhale, lift one leg up to this table top position. So your knees above your hip, your shins parallel to the ceiling and the floor. Exhale again, squeeze that second leg off, making sure your ribs are really being pulled down to your hips here. So with both legs coming off the floor, you're going to feel it pulling on the floor. So we really want to try and protect our lower back, keep that squeezed in. All we're going to do is we're going to go into the scissor exercise. So you're going to take one foot down to the floor, keeping the angle behind the knee the same. We're moving from the hips, so you're taking the foot away from the body. Tapping it down, squeezing it up. Exhale to the left, changing legs. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Good, one more on each side. Depending on how this feels for you, you can stay here. Keep going one leg at a time. If this feels okay, we're going to start doing both legs at the same time. So inhale as you take your right leg down. Exhale as you switch legs. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Good, keep going. One more each side. Good, bring both legs back to tabletop. Now, depending on which level you're at, if you're doing one leg at a time, or if you're doing both at the same time, well, depend on what you do here. So you're gonna bring opposite elbow to knee, keeping the knees bent. So quite often, people get confused in going to this exercise that a lot of people do in the gym. We don't wanna be doing that. We're keeping the legs bent. The legs are doing the exact same thing. So if you're doing just one leg at a time, as you take one leg down, cross opposite elbow to knee, bring the knee back, body back to center. As you take the left leg down, you're going to go opposite elbow to knee, and back to center. Exhaling up, inhaling down. Exhaling up as you twist, inhaling down. If you're doing the legs at the same time, then it's going to be a little bit quicker and a little bit more difficult. So again, taking the left leg away, your left elbow is going to come over to your right knee. And as that changes, so will your body. So you don't get a rest in the other body. You're just switching, inhaling one way, and exhaling the other. Keep going. Feel it burn through the core. But keep that control. Don't let it go too quickly. Keep that breath flowing with the movement. One more each side. Good, well done. Come down, bring both feet to the floor. No soft full body stretch. And then we're just going to work on our bum. So bringing your feet to the mat. Bring them a little bit closer to the bum that your fingertips can just about reach them. And then let the hands relax. Keeping the knees hip width apart. Imagine you're holding a tennis ball between your knees, so your knees can't flare out to the side where you're dropping. So you need to keep hold of that tennis ball. On the inhale, tuck your pelvis under so your tailbone comes off the floor slightly. And on your exhale, we're going to squeeze up to a full shoulder bridge. From knee to shoulder, should be a nice straight line. Inhale as you hold. And exhale, massage that spine down to the floor. Nice and slowly. Releasing the tailbone as the last thing. Inhale, tuck that tailbone. Exhale, push. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Taking it all the way down. Really feel that massaging into the mat. Good. Inhale, tuck that tailbone. Exhale, peeling off the floor like Velcro coming away. Nice and slowly. Good, 
then you're for three more. Keeping that ball switched on, keeping that pelvic floor engaged. It will help the control and it will help build your strength. Two more. Keep those thighs pressed towards each other. Keeping hold of that tennis ball the whole time. Coming down for the last time. Again, if this is your comfort, if this feels good, if this feels like it's working, or the next level feels a bit too difficult, stay here and work on the form. I would much rather people stay within the first layer of the exercise to work on that strength and form correctly, then try and go too quickly and sacrifice correct form and do the like the slightly harder exercise a little bit more. So the next level, we're going to do the same thing on the way up. Inhale, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, taking yourself up to your shoulder bridge. Now here, really squeeze under your right thigh, under your right bum cheek. You're going to take your left leg off, extending it up towards the ceiling. Keep pushing under here so we don't tilt. If you feel like you're coming down, you're tilting or twisting. And that's a sign to stick to the first layer for now. Bringing that foot flat back onto the floor so you then allow your body to come down to the mat. The breath will go, inhale, tuck the pelvis. Exhale up. Changing legs, right legs under the off, push it under the left, inhale, take it off. Exhale, place it down. Inhale, roll it down. Ready to exhale, straight the way back up. Left leg off, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, roll it down through the spine. Exhale back up. Inhale, right leg off. Keep it strong, keep it pushed under the hips. Exhale down. Inhale, roll it down. We're going to do one more on each side, or two more forms if you're using both feet still. Keep going, keep pushing under that supporting leg, you've got this. Really engage it the whole time. One more. Good, well done. Last one, and let it roll down. And put the knees into the chest, gently rocking it side to side. Do you feel that low back sliding massage against the floor? We're going to go into a quick release stretch as we relax towards the end of the session. Well, the guys just sticking with you this far. Taking your right foot down, crossing your left foot across into your bigger ball pose, bringing your left hand through the middle of your legs, your right hand around the side of your right thigh, bringing that right thigh in towards the body. To feel that stretch moving around the left hip and let the body completely relax. Feel free to close the eyes and just let the breath deepen again. Taking it back to how we started the session, your breath may have gone a bit shorter as we worked, as you had to sort of breathe a little bit quicker, but now just try and relax it and bring it back. And then gently walk it side to side slightly as you feel that stretch move around the hip. And then drop the leg and cross the ankle, changing sides. Taking the right ankle across the left knee. Right hand in the middle, left hand around, squeeze the left leg into the body. And let the legs relax. Let the head relax, shoulders, arms. And breathe. And gently walk it side to side. Good. And release the leg. Bring it down. 
We're going to spring the soles of the feet together and let the knees come out to the side and we're climbing up the blood ropes. Let gravity do its work. Let the hands relax wherever they're most comfortable. And just take some deep breaths through the stretch. Again, trying to actively relax your body to allow the stretch to work the most efficiently. more deep breaths. And then squeeze the knees together. Bring it into the body as you hug the legs again. This time rocking yourself forward and back until you've got enough momentum to bring yourself up. Shoot your legs forward. Again, lifting in that waist into your forward fold. Bring that body a little bit closer down towards those legs. Again, sucking that belly in. Core switched on as you let that body fall forward. Make space for that body to fall in the middle. Bring the body up. And taking yourself out into an open knee shape with your legs. It doesn't matter how wide they go, everybody is different. Bring yourself to a maximum stretch. And from here, we're going to tilt our pelvis forward to activate the stretch on the inner thigh and behind the thighs. So imagine your hips are a bowl of water. I want you to imagine you're throwing the walls out forward. So it will feel like you're sticking your bum out behind you as you tilt your pelvis down. You can already feel that stretch activating around the inner thigh and behind my thighs. So from here, with a straight back, just walk the hands forward as much as you can, even if you're here. You'll be stretching more efficiently than rounding your back and being here. So pushing the hips forwards, letting the hands walk forwards as far as they'll go, and then breathe and actively try and relax into that stretch. If you can, on the next exhale, try and lower that body even more. Good, then walking the hands back in nice and slowly. Bring the knees together. Find the floor with the feet in the hands. And we're just going to bring ourselves up through a roll up. So straighten those legs, keeping that body folded forward. Inhale, let the head and arms hang heavy. Keep the knees soft on exhale, and roll yourself up. Through a curved spine, like you're stacking your spine like a little building block. Up to standing. And we are all finished for this morning. Thank you so much for joining me if you stuck with me this far. And if you liked it, then I'm going to be doing more of this consistently this time. So please feel free to subscribe. And follow me on social media and all of that. It's Caitlin Mian. And I will link everything down below. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time.